What is up guys? My name is Kevin. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you uh, how to calibrate your E-steps. I've done a video on this already before and that was the, the extruder method where you mark on your filament and then have it extrude out 100 millimeters. Um, I guess there's a more precise way to do it that I've learned. Um, it's called the free air method and uh, basically it involves taking off the end of your Bowden tube uh, and marking from there and then uh, measuring out that direction. So we're going to go ahead and do that today. I'll show you how to do that. Um, the first thing you got to do is uh, preheat your printer to um, the, the nozzle won't uh, the nozzle won't extrude unless your uh, your hot end is heated. So we're going to go to control. Then we're going to go to temperature. We're going to go to hot end temp, and we're going to crank that up to 200. While that's heating up, we're going to auto home the printer. We're going to go to prepare, auto home, let it run its course. And you're going to want to, um, I had black filament in there. I switched it out to the red so it's easy to, uh, so it's easy to see. You can see your mark on there. It's basically the same concept of what we did in the past where you, uh, where you mark your filament and then let it go all the way through out your hot end. But I guess the way, the reason why this is better is because there's resistance in the Bowden tube and uh, it just gets you a finer reading um, if you do it, if you, uh, if you calibrate your E-steps this way, it gives you a better, a, a, a higher, more accurate uh, E-steps value. So we're gonna do it like that. Um, it's auto honed, my bed level's off because I was messing with my springs. But um, yeah, it's auto home now, so we're going to go ahead and uh, the things you're going to need too is you're going to need um, a caliper or a measuring device. Uh, I have a set of calipers and um, yeah, your, uh, your wrench that came with, the, came with your printer to undo uh, your fitting. And I believe that's it, a marking device. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to move the, I'll move the camera over here so you can get a better view of what I'm doing and uh, we'll take the fitting off. So I've gone ahead and flipped my printer around so you can see it um, a little bit better. I'm working from the side now. But the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna undo this fitting here. So we should, actually we can remove our gear wheel or extruder wheel. So we're gonna undo this fitting. We should be able to just twist it out. You might need to cut, um, I'm gonna do that to make it easier. I'm gonna cut one of my zip ties off that's holding my bowden tube. Careful not to cut anything except the zip tie. To give us a little bit of room to work with. After you get it loose, you should be able to spin it. Nope, not yet. There we go, you should be able to spin it out. And then go ahead and pull her out of there. I guess you probably should take that clip off first, but I don't think it really matters. And now we're gonna take our filament, see if I can do this from the back side. And we're going to feed it through our extruder. And then once it gets through there, we're going to flush cut it right exactly at the edge of the extruder. So nice and tight, flush. So it's flush to the edge of the extruder there. And now we're gonna go, let's see if I'll hold the camera up so you can see where I'm going on the menu. So now on the menu, we're going to go to move. Again, our hot end is, is heated up. We're gonna to go to move to extruder, and we're gonna crank this up to 100. So this is going to tell the printer to extrude 100 millimeters of filament. So boom, 100. So now, it's very slow, but we can see it is extruding and it's going to extrude 100 millimeters of filament. All right, so now it's done spitting out the 100 millimeters of filament. We'll go ahead and take it and cut it exactly how you cut it previously before, just like that. And we want to take this piece of filament and we want to kind of straighten it out the best we can. And we're going to measure it with our calipers. I have my calipers here. You can't really see me doing it on the bench, but I'm going to lay it down on the table here and measure this thing out. It's good to do this a couple times too to make sure we're getting the same reading every time. So 
while this is while I'm going to measure this right now, I'm going to go ahead and shoot out another 100 millimeters of filament. So I got it flush here. It's flush cut. I'm going to go to extruder, and it says 100 right now. So you can't just hit it again. So I'm going to crank it up to 200, and that should tell it to spit out another 100 millimeters of filament. And the reason I'm doing this twice is because I want to you know just compare measurements to make sure I'm getting an accurate reading each time so I've got it cranked up to 200 I click uh, the cog wheel and it's gonna start shooting out another hundred millimeters of filament so I'm gonna measure this piece of filament now it's kinda hard to do it because it's not staying straight with your uh, filament but I'm just kinda bending it and trying to make it nice and straight so I can measure it so I'm getting 98 57 on this first piece give or take 9857 so I'm gonna write that down ninety eight point five seven so now this other piece is done I'm gonna cut this off exactly the same straighten it out and measure this one so now I've done this two separate times. I believe I wrote them down backwards, but I got 98.42 and I got 98.57. I just called it 98.5 as an average. And then what you do is you do 100 divided by the number you got. So 100 is we told it to extrude 100 millimeters of filament. And then this is what we got out. So 98.5, so 100 divided by 98.5 is 1.0152 okay and then you take that number and you times it by your current e-steps value mine was already set to 95 if you've never done this before the default for Creality's boards is 93 another way you can tell what your e-steps value is is if you go to your printer we will start at the very beginning if you go to control and then you go to motion and then you go to steps uh, yours might sound, look a little different because mine is uh, running different firmware, but you go to Steps MM, and then Steps MME is what your um, current E Steps value is. Mine was at 95. If you've never changed anything um, or you've never messed with that, it should be at uh, 93. But you can, again, you can come check it just like this and see what it is. So then we divide the number we got. By your current e-steps again mine was 95 yours is probably 93 if you've never done this and then we got 95 or excuse me that times 95 is 96.446 so my new e-steps I just rounded it down my new e-steps value is 96.4 so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back over to motion here in the same menu we were just at I'll start at the beginning just so you know you go back to control you go down to motion, you go to steps MM, go down here to steps MME, and we're going to bump this up to my number. It's good, yours is probably different. Mine's going to be 96.4. So we'll hit enter on that. Now, just to test it, we will go back. We need to save this too, so we're going to go back again. And here we need to go to store settings. This is under control, and that'll store our settings. So now we can um, go back out. I'm going to double check to make sure it stayed there. Temperature, oops, not temperature, motion, steps MM. Sorry for the jump cut. I had to help the wife with something real quick. So now we're going to test it. We have our e step set. We can, uh, I already, I just power cycled the printer, but we're going to check it. Um, I, I'm heating up my temperature too because it won't extrude unless it's, uh, it's hot. So we're going to go to control. We're going to go to motion. We're going to check steps mm to make sure it's saved. Yep, and we still have 96.4. So that is our correct e steps value. So now we're going to go back. We're going to go to back again. We're going to go to prepare. We're going to go to move. We're going to go to extruder. And we're going to extrude 100 millimeters of filament again. And we're just doing this now to double check that it's right. Um, we already did our e-steps value, so it should be correct, but it's good to always confirm it. So now we're at 100. And it's going to slowly start spitting out the filament. I'll set down the camera and uh, turn it back on.
Once it's done extruding, we'll measure it and check. So now it's done extruding, we're gonna cut it off and check it. Cut it flush to the extruder. This is my new piece. I'm gonna throw away my other pieces so I don't get them mixed up. I'm gonna flatten it out. Can't really see, I'm doing it here on the table. It's too hard to hold up at the same, but we're gonna turn our caliper back on. Make sure it's zeroed out. Yep, we're nice and zeroed. Get it almost to 100 so I don't have to move it very far. And then we're going to flatten this guy out. I found it's easy instead of bending it straight if you just put it on something hard and use two hands and roll it. Boom, we are perfect. 100.79. So I guess I could knock down from 96.4. I could go to like 96. Point, you know, 2 or something like that. But that's pretty dang good. I'm happy with that. Stop see if I can lock the caliper. Might be hard to read. 100.79. Anyways, your E-steps are uh, calibrated correctly. You can um, power cycle your machine, make sure it saves, uh, put your your Bowden tube back on, and you are good to go, my friends. Um, I hope that was helpful. Again, this is just another way to uh, calibrate your E-steps. Um, yeah, the other way gets you pretty close. Um, I messed around with some settings, so I don't know if I was off a hair from how I had it previously set up. The other method seems to work good for quite a few people, but um, yeah, this was another easier way, um, another easy way to do it, and a more accurate way to do it um, from what I was told. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace.